Hi guys, hope you're all well. It's Sunday, so it's Tarot and Oracle Review Day. So I'm just popping on to do a little bit of a video to share with you um, this week's deck. So the deck that I'm going to work with or show you this week is the STEM Punk or Steampunk, however you wish to say it, Tarot. Now this is such a fabulous deck. Um, I really, really like the energy of steampunk. I've done quite a lot of events in that sort of time period, the Victorian sort of time period with the myth, the magic, the energy. And so I've saw, I had the, I've seen this deck for a while. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now, but I really, really love this deck. It's very quirky. It's quite dark. It's just a really sort of a uh, unique little piece to have. So it's, um, the deck is by Barbara Moore. And the deck has been illustrated, the artwork is by Elle Fell. And this is produced by, trying to see the publisher, um, Luen Llewellyn. So that's the publisher, so I don't know if you can see on the side here. We've got the Llewellyn um, Publishing House logo. Great, great box. Anything by these guys, I've shown you quite a few decks by them now. Is always really great pumped with information so we've got the brief introduction on the back and then there's some samples of the cards themselves so great 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 love the box love 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 the box then as we open it up we've got this beautiful sort of gold work here on this side and then we have you always get um, with these publishers a really really thick great great book um, so yeah loads and loads of information within that um wow love it so the book is fantastic which we'll look at in a short time and then the kind of cards themselves guys oops let me just pull these out so you can see now i think this probably are one of my favorite decks i don't really work with them too often because they are my favorite so i actually like to keep them back for myself but I love the artwork here. Now some decks um, with tarot, like they, they almost forget about the back, but this deck, I just love the fact that it's really tried to make the back look as, as great as it kind of can. So you've got the mechanics of the stem punk sort of look, but then you've got like the pentacle, the sword, the wand, and the cup. These are quite dark as well, I will say. It's not just bad lighting. These are, these are actually a really sort of dark deck. Um, and then if we look at like the cards themselves, so again, you can see here that the artwork is quite dark, um, which obviously is what STEM punk is about, isn't it? It's that sort of mysterious, moody kind of energy. Um, but I just love these cards. They're really, really cool. Let me just turn any of that upside down. So like the King of Cups here. So again, you get these real people of kind of character. I just think these are such a cool deck. Um, they're quirky. They are really, really quirky. And if you get and understand, you know, the beauty of um, steampunk or stem punk, however you wish to say it, you'll love these. If you're somebody that doesn't really get that sort of era, that time period, if you don't really understand the quirkiness of what it represents and what it's about, then this might not be such a deck for you. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the stock quality. So in terms of stock thickness, um, they're quite thin. They're not the thickest. They're not the thinnest, but they're they're a, you know they're they're a medium. They're okay. I would question if you were using these all the time long term. You might need to almost buy a couple of decks to sort of keep them nice because I think over time they probably would get tatty quite quickly. So that is something to just bear in mind. Um, but yeah, these really really kind of capture. The beauty of Raider Waite, they tell quite a clear story, which I really like. Um, they give you a lot to work with imagery-wise, you know, can really, really pick things out. And when I have used them, so many people just really seem to to kind of get them. They, they just really like them, actually. Um, their accuracy is great. I mean, I love this. This is the sort of um, the card that represents the world. Oops. So again, beautiful, beautiful card. Um, so the artwork really, really is gorgeous. And I love the fact we've got the feminine and the masculine aspects of the tarot. 
it's really being sort of showcased. I mean, here, like the lovers. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. So, yeah, it's a deck that I saw a while ago, and I just thought, you know what? I really want to have this to my collection because, as I my motto is, you can never have too many decks. But I really, really love it. It's just, I just think it's really kind of cool. I just love what it represents, what it's about. Um, yeah, it's a nice deck. Now, guys, you know what I'm like. I'll end up showing you the whole lot of cards if we're not careful. I'm going to just show you a couple more. Um, just a little, give you a bit more of an idea. Hopefully you can see the artwork on these because it is, like I say, it is quite a dark atmospheric deck and even the happier cards are also quite dark and atmospheric as well but that's part of obviously what you know stem punk is about really um but i just love them i think they're really really great these probably are one of my top favorite tarot decks to work with or to have um i really really like these okay i just saw a really good card that i want to show you there i'm going to skip a couple um, okay, these two. I'm going to show you these two, then I'm going to call it time because I literally will end up showing you all of them. And I actually want to keep some of them back in case you decide to get this yourself. So with the recent sort of Lion Gate portal that we've all kind of gone into, for those that sort of have the awareness of that, the card of strength, uh, love it. Love, love, love. Right, oh, I'll show you one more, the devil, because that's just popped up. So they're really, really different from anything else that's kind of out there as well. That They've really kind of kept their own unique kind of quirky, very much quirky sort of energy, which I again, I love, you know. Um, right, I'm not going to show you any more because literally I could be here all day otherwise. So in terms of the book then, what you've got with this is you've kind of got an introduction section there. So it talks a little bit about how this deck was born, how it kind of came about. And then it kind of gives you like tarot basics. So it almost talks you really through the journey of the fall a little bit, which is really kind of cool to have and the adventure that he goes on. And then we go straight into the kind of cards themselves. And I will say there's a lot of information here. So this is going to be an in-depth one for me to be reading to you guys because there's a lot coming up. So that you that you do have with this side of things, I will say there's a lot of information in here, which I think is actually so it makes it easier. So if you're just learning tarot, this is a great deck to have because it's pumped full of information. If you're somebody that can already read tarot, that's that's great as well. Um, because I can obviously read tarot, I tend not to bother with the book so much, but obviously for these videos, it's nice to use them to see their versions of what they encompass. So, we'll sort of see what we've got coming up for this Sunday for everybody. Guidance to be given, what we need to know about. So I'm asking for the cards to just reveal and to just show me something that we need to know for this Sunday for the highest of good. So, great, great size. Very sort of, I'd say they're a medium size. Really comfortable within the hand, which I love. I think this is actually, like I said, one of my all-time favourite decks. It's very different to anything else I've got. There's nothing else really like it. It really is quite a quirky little deck on its own merit. Okay, this keeps coming out for us this this month, guys. Um, for those of you that have watched my um, August video, we keep getting the card of the tower, and that is continuing to be the theme throughout August time and I knew it would be and it's coming up individually for so many people you know the readings I've been doing for people um, so many of you guys have been or this has been shooting out for you and it is continuing to do so so I know it's quite a dark image but I'll just see if you can see it a little bit better there the card of the tower okay so it's going to be really interesting to see what it has to say let's find this in the book here bear with me um, Let's just see where the tower is. Okay. I might have gone past it. I bet I have gone past it. Okay, hold on. Let me just try and find it again. Bear with me, guys. What I will say is these are in Roman numerals. So being dyslexic, they're not helping me too much. Um, 
they're great if you can read Roman numerals but if you're like me and you actually kind of can't then this is just like the numbers at the bottom there that's just like a load of gobbledygook so that's a downside for us dyslexics but don't worry I found the page so what we've got here then if it doesn't kill you it makes you stronger that's such a good kind of affirmation for the tower you know you can get through these times core meaning an unexpected event that changes everything what we keep talking about okay so I'm going to just read this out to you and we'll just roll with it you have a nice sort of um, image of the card there as well they're not colored they're all black and white um, but I think that's to keep with the theme of the sort of darkness as well okay so I'm going to read this apologies in advance for anything that I trip up on with my dyslexia let's just say it plainly People hardly ever want to see the tower card in their reading. At the end of the day, this is a card that indicates the destruction of something. Generally speaking, that something has been carefully created and nurtured. It has value. It is something we love. It is, in fact, intrinsic to our world view, to our world view and our life. Like the tree city in the image. This ornate and complex structure began humbly enough, with roots deep within the earth, connecting us with the very ascent, with the very essence that feeds our entire being. As it grew, it became less organic and more complicated. Artificial, sorry, artifice became more important than substance. It is a thing of beauty and mostly functional and useful. Then destruction comes raining down from the heavens and your and your structure is crushed you didn't desire this but you've been alive long enough to know that things like this do happen in our lives the tower card is not merely a portent, a portent of destruction as with all cards there is a lesson change happens in all of in all of our lives in fact life is change we've seen different kinds of change in the will and in death they had their lessons and the tower has its own wisdom. We build structures in our lives, world views, philosophies, spiritual practices and lifestyles. Structures are meant to enhance our lives, to give us just enough security so that we can soar. When the structure overtakes our spirit, that structure is no longer serving a beneficial purpose. The thing we created to enhance our life is now destroying it. The natural reaction of the universe then is to destroy that structure in order to save our life. When the tower blasts its way into your life, batten down the hatches and prepare for a rough time. The real work begins after the crash. Look at what was destroyed and let it go. More importantly, look at what remains. It has survived a trial by fire. Make sure you recognise its value. Pick it up and plan on fitting it into your new structure. This is the universe idea of repurposing. So I quite like that. That's just quite a deep, deep meaning. But I love the fact they've put the key pieces. And again, I love that little affirmation that they've put in at the top. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. That is literally the tower card in a nutshell. So it's interesting that it keeps coming up through August time in so many variations and so many ways. But again, look at the world we're in, guys. Look at the world around us. You know, the world almost has crumbled apart to a degree with COVID. And all of us are having to make changes. All of us are having to adapt on a smaller and larger scale. So it makes complete sense when we look at it like that on a sort of, you know, big level. But I'm sure also you can identify where it might sit in your individual realm and in your individual world. So really, really interesting card. But my gosh, it keeps coming in, doesn't it? So if I was to score this deck out of 10, for me, I actually do think it is a 10. I love it. I love the artwork. I love the detail that's in the information book um, on it as well. The only downside really, I think, is the card thickness that lets it down. They're not gilded either. But otherwise, it's a great, great deck. Um, it's a really, really powerful um, deck to work with. So if you're looking for something a little bit unusual, and you want to sort of treat yourself, definitely look into the Stempunk Tarot by Barbara Moore and illustrated by Elle Fell. 
because it is a great, great deck. You will not be disappointed. So I'm going to leave the energy of this with you. Stay safe, stay well, have a magical Sunday, guys, and more videos coming soon. Take care for now. Bye.